Today we're back on the Nice Guy subreddit and I hope you guys are excited. It's been so long since we've had a Nice Guy episode, there's going to be so much to read today. So yeah, I hope you're ready to read some terrifying stuff, everybody. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to. And with that being said, enjoy guys. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't message you earlier today, but I wanted to say that I enjoyed our date yesterday. How did you feel about it? Oh yeah, I was wondering why you didn't message sooner. But I agree, it was very enjoyable. Would you like to see each other between Christmas and New Year's? I can take you to the restaurant you were talking about. I can't actually, I'm going to be at my parents between Christmas and New Year's. Maybe sometime in January. I'm going to be a little busy though. So you don't want to see each other anymore? Uh, no, that's not what I said at all. Well, it kind of seems that way. You expect me to believe that you aren't going out to party on New Year's? Not this year. Then why can't you see me in January? I literally said that I can. I just said that I'll be a bit busy. Um, okay, well you should make some time for yourself instead of work. If you spent time with me, you could relax more. That's not really time to myself then, is it? So you don't want to see me? If you're going to be so confrontational about it, I don't want to really. I literally paid for your dinner and this is the thanks I get? You should be thankful I spent the time getting to know you. Now you want to ditch me? What the hell? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this to yourself. I don't really know what to say to that. You could start by apologizing for wasting my time. Have fun around on New Year's Eve. I guess I dodged a bullet here, haha. Ha. Bro, you're living in your own fantasy world. The other person said they were keen to hang out. The nice guy is like, oh, so you're not keen to hang out? The other person said they're not doing anything for New Year's. The nice guy says, have fun around on New Year's Eve. Like, you're not even listening, dude. So you aren't gonna answer me? Why would they want to, dude? You're a waste of time, you know that? You better pay me back for the dinner because this is ridiculous. I took you out to a nice dinner that you said you enjoyed and now you don't want to go on a second date with me? Effing S word. You literally have no life and you say you're too busy to see me. You could have just told me straight up that you were busy all the time before I went on a date with you. They didn't even say they were too busy to hang out. Why are they so delusional? Bro, you're making up an imaginary world. Do you usually waste people's time and money? Whoring around for free food and attention? I can't believe I actually was considering settling down with a woman so old and so ugly. Girls over 21 are a waste of time. I don't need to settle for an ugly duckling like you. Then stop texting me. Get a life, dude. Yeah, you're the one who's messaging them. You bloody talking to yourself here. My like is better than yours, S word. Uh, life. I'm sorry. I should have been more... <laughs> no way. I'm sorry. I should have been more understanding about your schedule. I'm sorry if you feel disrespected. You up? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. So bad that it's hilarious. I'm sorry if you feel disrespected after I called you an effing S word. I hope you'll go on a second date with me. Yeah, the top comment, the you up really was the icing on the cake. And guaranteed, if OP doesn't respond to that you up message, they'd be like, oh, screw you. Women are all the same. What are you too busy to even respond to me? Stop wasting my precious time. Yeah, the comment below that one too. Dude was aggressively disrespectful and then says, sorry if you feel disrespected. Red flag. <laughs> yeah, I really missed this subreddit. Yeah, and the comment below that, he had her laughing my ass off. He just sabotaged himself. God damn. Yeah, that's such a common thing that we see on here. Like, bro, you're getting in your own way. Like, they make up a scenario in their head, project it onto the other person, and then get upset about it. And it's not even real. OP said, I had a good time and I'm keen to go on another date. And they're like, no, you're not. Putting words in their mouth. And also, not to mention the bit where they said girls over 21 are a waste of time. Like, this comment says, it's because adult women won't put up with this BS. Yeah, probably. This comment says, this is why I'll never buy that nice guy's finish last BS. This guy was literally about to get a second date, just not on the dates and months that he wanted. And he fumbled so hard by throwing a tantrum. And the you up at the end? Laughing my ass off. <laughs> the next one says why aren't you picking up? Sorry, I can't pick up right now. If it's important, you can text me. I'm very disappointed in you. What is this behavior? I never thought you would turn to be like one of those girls, like one of your perverted friends. My son have told me about the ridiculous way that you reacted when he simply asked you out for a simple humble date? Oh, is this somebody's parent? It was not such a big thing. I don't understand why you go out of your way and disrespect him like that. I have known you all of your life. You're like a daughter to me. And you're doing this and disrespecting me and my family? It's unacceptable. Just wait until your mum hears about
about this. I've got a feeling your son hasn't told you the whole story. Oh, he told me everything. Every mean and horrible thing that you've said to him. The way that you told him you were out of his league and he was ugly and didn't make enough money and didn't meet your skyrocket standards. I've heard about it all. Wow, this is embarrassing. Well, let me tell you something, young lady. You cannot speak with such disrespect to him. This new age movement had deluded you into thinking that there's no value in dating a good man. It's honestly so sad seeing you turn into one of them. I pray for your mum and dad and for your future husband who'll have to deal with this attitude for the rest of their life. High standards? I told him he got into collect when I was born and that was it. I never said anything else. And how is that the problem? You know, he truly cared about you. He liked you for a truly long time. What? Like I'm 18 next month? What? And dude is like 45? Are you joking? My son is 39 and he doesn't look a day older than 30. How is that better? Yeah, what? Is this real? You're being picky. There's nothing wrong with dating somebody older than you. In fact, it's way better. But you don't know that because you've been brainwashed. You're under 18, OP. What is this? Ew. And at least you could have been more respectful in the way that you rejected him. I've never seen him like this. He's so upset. I know my son deserves better than you. When you say that he liked me for a very long time, do you mean like when I was 12? I'm not continuing this conversation with you anymore. I'll talk with your mother tomorrow first thing in the morning. Okay, bro. It's like midnight. I can't do this anymore and I'm blocking you. And good luck convincing my mum that I should marry somebody her age. Lol. Yeah, what? That was bloody horrifying. Yeah, the top comment. This is so icky. You were spot on with the 12 comment. I love your replies. Now we know what the son got his entitled attitude. Yeah, completely. Imagine being a parent and doing that. And also, imagine not seeing an issue with this. OP's not even 18. OP said in the comments, context, I live in a very social neighborhood and that's how I know him and his mum. That man literally watched me grow up. I don't know if this is him pretending to be her or if it actually is his mum. Both are equally crazy. Edit, she had a fight with my mum on the phone and like I expected, he was the one texting. But she still stands with him and is calling me out for age shaming him or whatever <laughs> and called me the C word. I'm so gonna get a restraining order. She's calling it age shaming? That's not age shaming, it's disgusting. And it was him texting the whole time. But the mum still agrees with him? Yeah, definitely get a restraining order, OP. Ew. Somebody said, please tell me your mum's gonna tear her a new one. What the hell? And OP said, she posted this in her Facebook mum's group or something for all of her social circles to see. And she said, we'll get a restraining order if he doesn't stop acting like this. Wow, that's so bad. Yeah, this comment, I'll be 39 when my daughter is 17. Effing gross. Very effing gross. Oh, and also like this comment says, you're like a daughter to me. That just makes it even weirder. Yeah, he said you're like a daughter to me. Ew. Yeah, this comment, he sounds like he needs to be on a watch list. Yeah, how disgusting. The next one says, hey, this is so-and-so from Take 5, letting you know that your car's ready. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll be right there. No problem. And then next Friday, hey, what's up? You there? Yeah. Isn't this the place I got my oil changed? Was something wrong with my payment? Or this is so-and-so lol. Right. From the place I got my oil changed right. Did I need to follow up with y'all about something? Nope. I just wanted to say hi. Ha ha. How are you? So you're just texting me to text me? Yep. And to see how you're doing. I'm fine, but this is a little strange. I've never spoken to you outside of getting my oil changed where you work twice. I also have a boyfriend. Strange how? I'm just trying to make friends and you're making me seem like a creep. How else am I supposed to make friends? Girls like you are the reason that guys don't approach females as much these days because they're afraid of being labeled a creep just for putting their self out there. I thought you'd be nicer and get it. Forget I texted you. Bye. Oh, and who cares if you have a boyfriend? Did I even ask? Lol, like I'm trying to date you. What a joke. I was just trying to make friends. Get over yourself. Even if I was interested, I'm not anymore with that snotty attitude. Your boyfriend is probably miserable being with somebody like you. Poor guy. Dude, I'm trying to work right now and you're blowing up my phone. Stop texting me or I'm going to call both your work and the police. My boss won't care. Go ahead and try. What are the police going to do? Ha ha. You're a trip. All right, I'm blocking you. Don't contact me on this number ever again or I will make good with contacting police. Wow, because you were rightfully confused and said that you had a boyfriend and stuff. They immediately flip out. God, you're what's wrong with the world these days. You're why men don't even try to talk to women anymore. Oh my God. <laughs> Is something on your mind, buddy? You seem to be quite upset. Somebody in the comments said, for sure report him to his boss and their corporate since he's insisting that his boss won't care. And OP said, I'm waiting on my lunch break and I'm making some calls. Definitely don't want any other unsuspecting women needing an oil change to deal with this type of BS. And 100% that would happen too. 
too. Good on you for doing that, OP. No doubt that would happen to somebody else too. Like, oh, hey, I did your oil change. <laughs> this isn't totally creepy, is it? No, it is. Somebody commented, she's the reason guys leave other girls alone. Finally, thank you. And OP said, right, lol. You're welcome, ladies. Yeah, you're the reason? Yeah, and also this comment. It's always girls and females. Anyone who avoids using the word women, seemingly at all costs. Honestly, that's all you need to know about them. Yeah, it's like a belittling and sort of degrading thing, isn't it? Like there's men and females or girls because women... No, 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 not women. Men and females. Acting like women are like some different species or something. The next one starts out by saying, I'm still puking and my mum checked and I'm running a FIFA. Can we reschedule, please? She's taking me to urgent care to say what's up. Please, please don't hate me. I'm so, so sorry. I'm feeling like absolute garbage and I prefer not to puke on you the first time that we meet. I thought rest would help me. Okay, dot, dot, dot. I made time for you. Wow, oh my God. <laughs> Why are they getting so bloody upset for no reason? Bro, who cares? <laughs> oh, sorry, you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. That's what you say. Don't get all bloody upset for no reason. I think you're also sick because you're overthinking meeting me. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. And the majority is probably because I watched two kids, one of which still had a stomach bug. I thought I'd be fine since he was mainly in his room. Please don't hate me, I promise. I don't know what to say at the moment because I'm really interested and want to see you. Okay, so pause for a second. You can already tell that this guy is making up a scenario in his head. Why are you getting so melodramatic and upset for no reason? You couldn't possibly be actually sick. Like, it's so annoying and they're doing the same thing again. They're getting upset about something that doesn't exist already. I was really excited to meet you. I even had an outfit idea picked. I even had my mum grab my skirt from the laundry room. I don't know. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I understand. I'm sorry. I'm heading to urgent care in a few minutes. I'll text you when we get there. You can't even see me for a little. Dot dot. Okay. Dot dot dot. Sunshine, realistically, I've been feeling icky all weekend. And I really don't want to be miserable and risk puking in public the first time I see you. To be honest, it kind of hurts. I respect you can't see me. It's fine. I get it. But you even said that you'd not bail even on your friends and you'd hang out with them. So I figure you'd see me also no matter what. I bailed on my friends this weekend as well. Okay. They hung out without me last night because I wasn't feeling well. I get it. Oh, stop responding to them. I left the grad party early. I just showed up to give my gift and talk for a little bit. I want to see you. Okay. Yeah, they're literally saying I want to see you, but it's like they can't even read it. No, you don't really want to see me. I'm convinced about something that's not even real. I really do, but I really don't want to be yakking up every few minutes. I don't think that'll be a good impression. I get it. One second, I have to sign in on the thingy. Give me a few. KK. Yeah? I don't want to bother. Do what you have to first. I'm just upset. Bro, you should not be upset. <laughs> You've got no reason to be upset. It's not about you. I usually have to sit here for an hour or so, so let's talk. At the moment, I don't want to talk. I'm extremely upset because I moved things around so I could see you today. And I know you're not feeling well and I get that completely, but it still hurts because I'm such a nice guy. Wow, doesn't get it at all. I don't have anything to talk about because I just wanted to see you. I know you're a nice guy. I wanted to see you too. I was genuinely excited, but I genuinely feel like garbage. And with the FIFA, it's gotten worse. In my mum's eyes, she'd rather be safer than sorry. I truly and deeply appreciate you moving things around to see me today. I truly do. And I respect you not wanting to talk. I'm sorry. I'll leave you be. Text me when you're ready. All right. And the worst part is you're not even trying to reschedule to make up. Breaks my heart. <laughs> oh, you're breaking your own heart, dude. It's like the first one. They're sabotaging themselves. Like, I feel like you like the crappy guy. There it is. You are convinced that this person likes crappy guys. That's the imaginary narrative that you're playing in your head. Like, I feel like you like the crappy guys, but then the good guys, you don't even appreciate them, which then leads you ending up with crappy people again because you're blind. They're blind? <laughs> Bro, you're thinking about a situation that isn't real and letting it upset you. That's because I don't know my work schedule this week. As well as family plans, I don't want to commit to plans that I won't be able to actually go through. And no, I don't like crappy guys. And I'm going to be honest, it's kind of upsetting that instead of respecting that I'm not feeling well, you're making the assumption that I like crappy people. See, that's not fair. You're not breaking on other plans, but breaking on our plans. Do you not see it from my point of view? The other plans are work and my family. I'm trying to help my family stay afloat. So yeah, I'll be cancelling plans with my friends and anybody else to prioritise making sure my family doesn't have to stress as much. My dad lost his job. Our house is falling apart. I'm trying to do my best. And me being sick is a major inconvenience for everybody. I work a corporate job and I take care of my family. And I'm still being high hyper-flexible on purpose to make time for you. That's why me moving things to see you today was a big deal because I can't
cancelled a lot of things so I could drive out to see you. I did a lot. Yeah, listen, I respect and appreciate that, and I do feel genuinely awful, but realistically, would you really want to hang out with somebody who isn't feeling well and puking? OP, you do not need to feel awful about this. I just like you, and I wanted to put a face to you, that's all. I'll be honest, I get that, and I wanted to see you too, but again, I'm sick, I'm not feeling well, and truthfully, if I went, I wouldn't enjoy it at all because I'd be trying not to puke. It's just I feel hurt because last night I confirmed with you five times. I was afraid you wouldn't be able to make it, so even though it's not in your control, it just for me seems like it was so predictable that I wouldn't see you. And I feel like, yeah, you don't feel well, but I feel like you're very nervous and don't want to meet up with me like you do, but then you don't. I'm so upset right now. I'm just in my room texting you rather than hanging with my family. This happens every time I give love and respect to an individual. Maybe I should be a crappy person. Oh, this is so bad. Nice guys are so bloody exhausting. Listen, go and enjoy time with your family and we'll talk about this later because I'm upset. I feel like I'm getting blamed for being sick when I don't want to be sick. I'm not blaming you. I'm just upset that it's such a coincidence. How's it a coincidence? I've been sick all weekend. From the day that we started talking, I've been sick and obviously not getting better. That on your date, you feel more worse than you did all the other time. And also, if you felt super sick, I just wish you'd even say last night that you wouldn't make it. That would have been better if you just said that, but instead you said you'd make it and that the only problem was your nephew. I'm not upset at you. I'm upset at the situation because now I have no clue when I'll even see you. Yeah, you know what? I can't do this. I didn't ask to wake up with a fever. I didn't want to be sick. I thought if I rested these two days that I'd be fine by today because at first you said you'd make time and now I'm getting all this new information that you'll probably not see me for a while. I'm getting frustrated. We'll talk when I'm more cooled down because I don't think either of us are going to listen to each other right now. I don't want to text anymore. When you're home, can I call you? I just want to have a phone call. I'm free tomorrow after four and Tuesday after four, but that's the best I can do. I'm going to be honest. This conversation really changed how I viewed you. I thought you'd be understanding and it really hurt that it turned into this and assuming that I like crappy people is really messed up. I've been in crappy situations with people who were the nicest people in the world to start with and then they change once they get comfortable. I don't mean any disrespect, but you've known me for two days and you've pushed to hang out even though I've been sick and when I cancelled, you got upset with the situation as if we've known each other for months. Hell, even weeks, it would have been totally understandable to be upset if I cancelled, but we've known each other for two days. It's not like I'd never make time to see you. I just need to make plans around work and what my family needs. You seriously do not value good guys. <laughs> oh, stop it. This is unbelievably bad. I can see why you're in the mess that you are. You're so traumatized that you don't even see a good guy if he hit you with a bus. Now in your head, you're overthinking and all of this. Wow, they're overthinking. <laughs> a girl like you doesn't run from the problem, but walks towards it. Maybe I'm glad that I can say that I gave my above and beyond to you and respected you. And now you're not my problem. If you end up with the worst person ever next, I'll just say, I told you so. And you can now build an image about me in your head and be mad at me because I really had to move mountains to see you, but it's fine. Maybe I need to find a more established person who values good people. I have every right to be upset. And if you're going to play the victim card, <laughs> oh my God, you're playing the victim. Are you joking? Then I don't need a person who uses that as an argument freebie. Bro, you're making an issue out of nothing. Delusional. Whatever you say next, I won't open it or read it or value it because I feel like I've wasted enough of my energy talking to you and I don't want to give you not even one more second of my time. I can see why you're alone and why everybody leaves. My relationship didn't work out because my ex moved out of the States. That's why I'm single. I'm trying to find another valuable person and not you. So whatever you say, I don't care anymore because you fried my brain and I don't wish you the best. Wish I never met you. You lost yourself a really good guy and you're blind. Bye forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe they're saying that you're blind. That is the most ridiculous thing I feel like we've ever read. Bro, you made all of this up in your head. You completely sabotaged yourself. How can this be real? They are professionals at upsetting themselves. That's so wild. They brainwashed themselves into thinking there was an issue. And yet the assumption that OP liked crappy guys. God, you can't even help these people. Bro, if you're going to make an issue when there completely isn't one, what are you going to be like when there actually is issues. That's so pathetic. Yeah, this comment. This was the perfect opportunity for him to be, you know, a genuine nice guy and comfort you while you're sick. Needless to say, you were too patient with him. He dropped the freaking nuke. Yeah, like this comment says, to nice guys, love and respect are purely transactional. They only hand it out when they expect a solid return on their investment and they can feel cheated when something like illness gets in their way. Why would he feel things like compassion or sympathy when he got cheated out of what he thinks he's going to get? Horizontal mumbo. You were way too nice, OP. I'm glad you didn't get involved with him any further. And OP said,
said, honestly, you're so right. And I felt like I dodged a bullet. Yeah, you definitely did, OP. The next one says, newly single after an eight year relationship. Online dating seems worse than before. I'm 36 male, I got a great job, I hit the gym and I look good. I dress up casual but nice. I have no debt. I got a Toyota Tacoma 4x4. I live in a house but my father owns it and I've got a roommate to split the bills with. And I got the master bedroom, just 10 minutes from downtown. I seem to have everything I need and that most women would flock my way, no problem. But it's been dry as a desert for me. And the games and the ghosting are non-stop. I've only been single for about three months, but in this time I've only dated with a girl for a couple of weeks and I felt she was below my standards. She blew me off the day after she slept over at my place for the second time. Every other woman online ignores me and the ones that do message are ugly as hell. I feel like American women are truly tainted and have unrealistic expectations. They just seem psychotic and arrogant. Is it the birth control and the hormones they're pumped with? Or is it social media or 5G cell phone towers making them like this? <laughs> Regardless of what it is, there's a huge problem with American women. Oh yeah, blame everybody else. <laughs> Maybe you're the one that has an issue, dude. They'd rather be alone than not have a man in the top 5%. I'd like to have a beautiful woman, but she doesn't have to be drop dead gorgeous. I don't even care for makeup. And if she's a little chubby, that's fine with me. She doesn't even have to dress up too nice because I think a simple woman is much less drama to deal with. I've been so depressed about women today, so I'm thinking I may travel abroad. Oh yeah, that'll fix it. Not. My first thought was Eastern Europe because I want blonde hair, blue eyed women mostly. I'm blonde with green eyes, but I've also heard they can be kind of mean. Second was Southeast Asia like Vietnam or Philippines. I know Asian women are so sweet and so tender. Third would be Argentina, Costa Rica, Panama since I speak good Spanish. Where should a white man go to? American white women are gone. They're just far gone into outer space. They don't even know it. Yeah, like the top comment says, I like how it's a conspiracy theory that he's not getting anywhere. Asking if it's 5G, social media or birth control that's responsible instead of taking a look in the mirror. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta be the 5G cell phone towers, doesn't it? Ruining all of these women. That's so funny, but it's also not. It's sad. And having the attitude that if you leave the country, it's gonna somehow be better. Bro, you're the issue. Going to a different country is not gonna change it. This comment says, what an idiot. The hypocrisy and lack of self-awareness is astounding. Every woman online ignores me and then immediately follows up with, except the ugly ones. American women have unrealistic expectations. They're psychotic and arrogant. Dude, look in the mirror. It sounds like you can definitely find someone to date, but they aren't up to whatever superficial standards that you have. In his description of his ideal woman, he just listed physical things, nothing about personality. Of course. These guys are such tools and they deserve their self-inflicted unhappiness. Yeah, that's what it is. Self-inflicted unhappiness, 100%. Every single one that we've read today has been like that. Yeah, this comment too. This man's going on a worldwide safari looking for women. So creepy. I love how he just generalizes millions of women with every sentence too low. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too. Saying how Eastern European women are mean and how Asian women are sweet and tender. Like what, they made them in a factory or something, dude? Oh yeah, every single Eastern European woman is super mean and every Asian woman is sweet and tender, acting like they don't have personalities. Once again, it's hilarious, but it's also not. That's so sad. And yeah, like that comment said, going on a worldwide safari looking for women, it's not gonna help. The next one says, can I take you on a date? No, but this is a better photo for your main. I can't take you on a date? Why? No is a complete sentence. You don't like good looking men that are looking for a long-term relationship and would treat you with love like a princess? You're one of those women that like men that treat them like crap? Sorry, that's not me, you are, right? Or maybe you can't handle an Italian man. What is it? Because all my recent exes were black and I plan on my wife being black when I find her. None of your rant has nothing to do with me. At your age, you should know not everybody will want you. Demanding to know why is creepy and entitlement. We're strangers. I don't owe you an explanation and I most certainly don't owe you interest. You have a great day and thank you oh so much. <laughs> oh my God, that's such a funny response. Post number four that we read today where the person was sick and the nice guy just kept on talking and talking and talking and being upset for no reason. I wish they said this. <laughs> like that's all they had to say. You have a great day and thank you oh so much. <laughs> it'd be awesome if more nice guys actually said that. Obviously like it'd be good if this person didn't say the other stuff too. But that sentence at the end is actually what they need to do. Oh you're not interested? Okay no worries. You have a great day and thank you oh so much. And then they stop talking. Amazing. The top comment says or oh, maybe you can't handle an Italian man? That sent me. My boyfriend is Italian too and like I don't feel like that says anything about him besides that he likes to eat his pasta first and then salad. Yeah and also this comment. Sometimes I wonder if these guys have ever talked to other humans before.
before. Yeah, it really does seem like that, doesn't it? The next one says, hi there. I love your tattoos. Where did you get them done? No response. Why even add me if you're going to pretend I don't even exist? Just wait until I'm an effing millionaire. Then you're going to wish you didn't ghost me for no reason. Wow, okay. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> you're going to regret it. Yeah, like this comment says, seems like a stable, rational individual. Oh yes, definitely. From zero to a hundred really fast. Oh, you didn't respond? Go to hell. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? Now, what if I don't play video games or nothing like that? Would you still connect with me? I mean, people have different interests. Not a big deal to me. You definitely are a hot ass girl. I love those damn curves. I want to drive down that damn back road. I'd love to take you out on the boat or go ATV riding. What are we reading? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Sounds like you're more interested in hooking up, which is fine, but doesn't really align with my preferences. I prefer to go slow and really get to know someone. What the F? I comment on your effing curves and you're trying to say that I want to F? What the hell? Well, you're socially awkward. I tried to make you effing feel better and you effing accuse me of, oh my effing God, make me feel better about what? Lol, this has got to be a prank or something. Oh, what the hell ever? Get the F off my goddamn page. Go play with your effing video game. You don't know how to effing communicate with people. <laughs> yeah, you live your life behind a computer screen, but because you have no life, you don't know how to interact with people unless they're behind a screen. Effing nerd. I feel sorry for people like you. What was that? Yeah, this comment zero to 100 in one second. Yeah, how does that even happen? Like, what are you upset about, dude? <laughs> okay, let's read a couple more. I want to date you. I'm sorry. I just don't feel that way about you. Okay, cool. Now what if I say a bunch of stuff that makes everything worse and destroys a potentially valuable friendship? What if I start insulting you for no reason? Will that help? I don't understand the logic. Feminism is oppressing me. Modern society hates men. Yeah, it is that. It's so sad too. Nice guy stuff and incel sort of stuff. Most of it is them getting in their own way. It's so wild. Nobody will ever want you. Then why are you still messaging? Yeah, and also right after they say nobody will ever want you and you're a piece of crap and you're super ugly, they'll be like, oh, you're missing out on such a nice guy. Yeah, they're not really missing out though, are they? And I feel like that's enough for today. That was such a fun episode. It felt so good to be back on this subreddit. I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know down below if you did. I've got a wholesome meme to show you before we go. I love public libraries because they're built on the principle that books are so important and so necessary to human flourishing that access to them can't depend on your income. Yeah, that's so true. I never even thought about that. There's a lot of beautiful stuff when you think about it. And on that note, thank you for watching everybody. I hope you had a wonderful time today. And if you did, make sure you let me know down below and also like and subscribe. And the comment of the day today, da 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 da, goes to Wake Robin. Hey Vincey, I've been binging your videos while I paint our new house. Varying themes for each room, sea, forest, mountain, etc. Tomorrow we move out of this dull beige apartment and into our beautiful colourful house and I can't wait. Thank you for all that you do. Oh, thank you for that comment and congratulations too. That's going to be so awesome. That's amazing and it's going to feel so good to be in a new place. So happy for you. That's awesome news and all the best with the move as well. Let us know in the comments how everything goes and thank you for that comment and thank you for watching the episodes too. I really appreciate it. So grateful for your support guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you look after yourself and make sure you have a beautiful amazing rest of your day and you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! Bye.